Well, uh, we have performed the CV analysis, and from that CV analysis, the percentage of various iron gates have been considered. Likewise, twelve point five mm. We will maintain the temperature at around one to three degrees Celsius for around four hours. Now it's around four hours, and the temperature is maintained at one to three degrees Celsius. Now the aggregates are being oven dried. Let us take the next procedure. We are now going to extract the aggregates from oven, and uh, this is how we will take aggregates from. We have taken grid. 20 mm aggregate, 12.5 mm aggregate, 10 mm aggregate, 6.3 mm aggregate. Now we will take the percentage that is been considered through the C analysis. Now we have taken 25 percent of 20 mm aggregates of total and uh, 10 uh, 10 mm aggregates of uh, 11 percent and 6.3 aggregates of uh, 11 percent and uh, we have taken grid for 42 percent. of the total weight now we we need to get uh, 1200 grams of then yes yes thank you for the mix uh, we need to take uh, 5.2% of bitumen so we need to take Six sixty-three point five percent of bitumen. Here we can see in the Marshall stability procedure. Here we have taken the different percentage of of aggregate that is from twenty mm. We have taken as 25 percent, 11 percent as 12.5 percent, 12.5 mm, 10 mm as 11 percent, 6.3 as 11 percent, and the greater as 42 percent. We have used 5.2 percent by the weight of aggregate. The bitumen has been added, and right now the mixing procedure is being carrying out. We are filling the mold for specimen preparation. After this, we will provide 75 blows from either side in compacted machine. We have kept the specimen uh, in the master compactor. We have set the 75 blows, and we will give the uh, specimen 75 blows by the two ideal sides. We will start the machine. We have prepared a control mix of 5.6 percent bitumen. Here we are interested in the height. We will be taking the average of height. Then the diameter is around 10 centimeter, and we will be taking the weight. so that the properties can be checked here you can see the samples which we have extracted already earlier the c1 sample c2 sample and we will be taking the c3 sample and the average of three values will be taken specimens are been extracted using the specimen extractor 
which was kept for 10 hours in cooling. Now the specimen likely here we can observe A1, A2, A3 are been extracted. Now this one of the specimen we will take C2 sample whose height and the weight has to be taken. Now we have taken the weight of C1 sample and C2 sample and we have measured the height, average height. From where this sample specimen now for the sake of maintaining the 60 degree Celsius specimen temperature, we will be keeping this specimen in the laboratory water bath. And here we will be maintaining the temperature at 60 degree. is not more than 48 degrees Celsius but to measure the take the test in the worst condition we will be keeping this specimen in the water bath for half hour at the temperature of 60 degrees. At 60 degrees Celsius in the laboratory over water bath we have kept the sample for 30 minutes and uh, now we will be taking this sample from the water bath whose submersible weight will be taken at present we can see the weight is around more than 1268 and after submersion, it has become 613.5. The objective of our complete exercise was to check the marginal stability value. Altogether, there will be five parameters we will be checking. The first one is the percentage air moles, percentage BMA, bulk density, uh, stability in kilonewton and the flow. Well, after the completion of this, Marshall test, we will be getting the flow value and the stability through this apparatus. Till, to, till now, what we have done is, we have taken a sieve analysis and we have finalized the percentage of aggregate that were uh, supposed to be added. So we have taken the 20 mm of aggregate, 12.5 mm of aggregate, 10 mm of aggregate, 6.5 mm of aggregate and the grid in various per percentages which we have got from the sieve analysis. After that we have added around 5.6% of bitumen in the control mix and we have prepared the sample. We have taken the oven dry aggregate which were kept in the oven for 150 degrees Celsius. Then the bitumen was uh, taken at 150 degrees Celsius and then they were mixed together. After mixing it was been kept in the mold for uh, in the mold the 75 number of blows were given from the either sides and the uh, specimen was kept for cooling for more than 10 hours. After that, the specimen was extracted with height and the weight of the specimen was measured. Then it was kept in the laboratory water bath for around half hour at 60 degrees Celsius. Then it was been extracted and the bulk weight was taken, submergence weight was taken and now we are at the last stage of this uh, complete procedure that we will be conducting the Marshall test on the Marshall apparatus where the mold is being set as it is been as per the guidelines. Now we will be uh, applying the load and uh, let's check the value. Now it has been set at zero. Stop. We can see 
there is a deformation occurred and the values can be recorded here you can see the load value is around 11.59 kN and the flow value is at 3 mm so this is how the stability marshall's stability test is being performed